spirit of this fire warms me, purifies me, gives me light. My creator. Four sacred directions. And Mother Earth protects me. Nourishes my spirit, my mind, my soul. Please accept this tobacco. Not wanted here, Alex. I'm concerned about you. You know better than to disturb me. You haven't eaten for four days. Leave me. I know you're searching for answers, Lone Tree. But starving yourself isn't the way. What's so important about progress? So you can be like the white man? Remember, the deal with the devil's no deal at all. I hope you see the spirit, not the inside of an ambulance. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 43, Century 9. In the woods of Winchala, a simus lights the flame of affliction. Elders set the course. To choose wrongly will mean woe. Don't know what a simus is, but Nostradamus may have been talking about the Winchalas, a small tribe with a proud history. It's been said that gambling is the most insidious of vices, the allure of chance that slowly overtakes reason and bankrupt. Is this the flame of affliction of which Nostradamus speaks? If so, the flame may be spreading. The Winchala Tribal Council is about to vote on the expansion of gambling onto all of the reservation lands. The elders of the council have an important choice to make for the tribe. Time to let the chips fall where they may. Thirteen, hit or stick. Hit. Twenty-one, good call. Twenty. Twenty. Healer has three. Thirteen. Too many. <laughs> Shuffling. It's a lot of action here. We do okay. We'll do a lot better if the boat passes. Fifteen casinos gonna start building right away. That means jobs, bro. I suppose there's a downside too. Yeah, yeah. Gambling fever, more crime. Heard it all. It doesn't concern you? Hey man, I went to 
living for three twenty-five an hour, digging ditches to sixty grand a year, sitting in this air-conditioned casino. No downside there. How does it work? This uh, this vote, I mean. The council has six members. Each side will choose a representative to argue opposite sides. Then the council votes. Lone Tree has a big job in his hands. Who's Lone Tree? And one of the members of the tribal council who doesn't want the proposition to pass. He's against the gambling. He thinks the white man's behind it. It's got a lot of sway with the elders because he's some great lawyer, exposed government fraud, and expanded her ownership of lands by a million acres. That's impressive. He's a dinosaur, man. It's not about red and white. It's about green. You know where I can find this, uh, Mr. Lone Tree? When he ain't in the woods tripping out with the spirits, most likely at his house in the bluffs. You can't miss him. Thanks. I think I'll quit while I am. Sure, pal. That's what they all say. Mr. Lone Tree? Yeah, that's me. My name's Todd Kowalski. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I'm, uh, I'm with the Gaming Chronicles, and the vote's up this afternoon. I was wondering if you could uh, share your thoughts on that. Who are you? Well, I'm Todd Kowalski. Yeah, one of Alex's partners. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me, boy. I'm a lot smarter than they look. I think you're making a mistake. I'm a reporter. Okay, you want my position? This proposition provides funding for the constructions of 90 casinos, large and small, over the next 10 years. The location of these casinos is exactly in the center of village communities. We'll have increased crime, suicide, and addiction. It's exactly what happened to this reserve when we started gambling. Well, some people think the economic... Yeah, which people? Only you and people like you. What do you mean? Alex sent you, didn't he? To convince me before the vote. Just like all the others. You work for one of these corporate casinos, don't you? You're probably behind this whole proposition. I don't know any Alex. Get out of here. Security guard said he was sitting at your table. Don't remember everyone I killed, dude. Did he say anything that would indicate where he was headed? Okay. He was asking questions about a member of our tribal council. Lone Tree. That's all I know. Then that's all you get? Mr. Lone Tree mentioned your name. I figured I'd get your two cents for my article. I respect Lone Tree's opinion. It's his methods that are backward. How so? He plays on people's fears and superstitions. Lone Tree believes that gambling diminishes our spirituality, our connection to the past, our tradition. Well, some would say it does. No one respects tribal traditions more than me. I organized a committee that built this place. This is a bow and arrow used by our ancestors to defend the village from a cavalry attack. We recovered and restored it with funds from the casino. Lone Tree won't accept that progress doesn't necessarily undermine spirituality. I'll tell you what that little casino's done for this community. Museums, childcare, educational programs, and most of all, jobs. And we can work with pride. 
You've got quite a compelling argument. Well, we've been slow to embrace innovation. The riches of the technological revolution have swept right by us. So the answer is gambling? It's one of the answers. Any truth to Mr. Lone Tree's assertion that you're backed by other interests? <laughs> uh, did he give you his old white man is evil routine? Well, I see. Well, there are those who say that the native population should run these casinos without any partnerships with white men. They say the white man destroyed our culture, and to some degree they're correct. But whatever happened in the past can't dictate our future. We have to move forward into the 21st century. We're all brothers on this planet. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, he's Mr. Clean, all right. Alex Sherman moved on to the Winchala Reservation seven years ago. His previous background is unclear. He was the guy who petitioned the state to allow the casino. So he's in it for the money? Well, he made his community a whole bunch of dough, but he only takes home a salary of 30 grand. Donates to charities. He runs a children's program. I still don't trust this guy. Something doesn't fit. I mean, gambling looks good on paper, but there's a whole bunch of social problems that come with it. Do some more digging for me, will you? See if he can find a chink in his armor. You think he's Gua? Oh, it's too early to say. Eddie, why are you breathing so hard? I'm just lifting, man. I'm a little confused, Foster. I mean, what do you think's going on here, huh? You know, it's like a Gua attempt to fix the vote? I mean, a, a gambling experiment? I can't make a guess until I know more, but the quatrain talks about a simus. You got a definition on that yet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Simus is a, uh, a term used by the Shinnok tribe, uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, get this. Simus is a supernatural spirit which empowers the tribe and, uh, grants them great wealth. Supernatural? Meaning alien? I mean, Nostradamus is talking about Alex. Oh, wow. What? Got an email from my girl. You got a girl? I'm jealous. Well, I mean, let's just call her my email pen pal for now. I knew Marianne in high school. And I loved her all through geometry, trigonometry, advanced calculus. Sounds like a real romance. I'm coming to you, Eddie. Where are you parked? I'm on a 12-mile marker off of Route 6. I'll see you soon. That's him. I've already cross-indexed his photo with an FBI database. He's a wanted murderer. Oh, I knew there's something off about this guy. His real name is Cade Foster. You've been busy, good work. Just doing my job. Cade Foster, you know that name sounds familiar. We should run this by Guac Command. No, I don't want them involved. We can handle this one ourselves. You may be right. We'll contact them after we attain our goal. Exactly. So what do you think he's doing? Maybe he's casing the casino. Fed's database said he was a top-notch thief back in Chicago. Okay, so do you think he wants to rob the casino? Could be. Whatever he's doing here, we've got to get rid of him. We don't want to attract any undue attention before the vote. Let me send two or three men to scare him off. They'll give him a beating he'll never forget. Okay, I'm going to leave it for you. Aren't you going to say goodbye? Not here. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's too public. Let's have fun. You want me? If they find out, they're going to kill us. They will find out. Buddy, can you give me a hand? What's the problem? Hurt my leg. Oh. 
What spirit? How the hell should I know? I'll be back. I gotta check on something. Seed oil. Sweet grass. White oak. Dandelion. Skunk cabbage root. Appetizer? For bruises, not appreciated if you keep your mouth shut. Thanks for taking me in. I didn't do it for you. Just trying to figure out what kind of game you're playing at. I know this sounds crazy. But two guys jumped me. And just when things were looking really bad, a wolf saved me. I saw a woman floating above the ground. Beautiful native woman. That couldn't be. I know what I saw. Probably heard one of our legends. What you're describing is the woman of the woods. And the idea that she'd protect you is blasphemy. Hey, listen, I'm not trying to offend you. The very sight of you offends me, Mr. Kowalski. What's your game? I'm here investigating a certain group of people who might be interested in the outcome of your vote. I think Alex may be one of them. <laughs> I said, let me tell you a little story here, okay? When we had our lawsuit, the lawyers for the government were so pleased to learn that I had an eight handicap. They thought because I excelled at the white man's sport that I would just accept the crumbs from his table. Well, I saw through their little game and I see through yours. I'm not playing a game. Why is it every time I see a white face, there's always a lie behind the mask? You know, your nature is to take. And that nature doesn't change with the passage of time. Now, I fixed your wounds. There's the door. It opens easily if you turn the knob. Why'd you come looking for me, Lone Tree? You just doing your good deed for the day? Just a coincidence. I was taking a walk. We have a common goal. To find out who's behind Alex, who's pulling the strings. And I don't know about you, but my gut tells me he's dirty. Specialized search engine dedicated to law enforcement and related journals. You just made Bounty Hunter monthly. Somebody just put a big reward on your head. Great. Any idea who? No, this is just a P.O. box. Could have been mercenaries who came after you. And the reservation's not safe. Come in from the cold. I don't think they were mercenaries, Eddie. They were natives. And this wolf suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Saved my life. I had some kind of hallucination. There was a woman... Apparitions are pretty common in native culture. They're usually induced by uh, fasting or herbal hallucinogens. I, I suppose getting clobbered on the head could have done the trick. I gotta go, Eddie. No, no, Foster, wait a second. F Foster. Change your mind? Or another coincidence? I'm listening. Let's just hope you got something to say.
broad daylight? It's called surveillance. Oh. Greg Chief once said, the white man is always skilled in the art of trickery. Shut up, will ya? Why don't you tell me about the spirit woman? Why? Because I'm curious. A young native woman was part of a village ravaged by the American cavalry in 1868. The entire village was slaughtered. Every man, woman, and child. Her name was Mahai. She was the sole survivor. She knew the cavalry was heading to the next village, so she ran ahead six miles, barefoot, to warn them. They say she had the power to communicate with wolves. When the cavalry arrived, they were attacked by a large number of them, and the village was saved. seven years ago seven years ago isn't that when Alex joined this tribe yeah he said he was just passing through and never left these symbols were set down by the great chiefs of the Wachala 300 years ago these symbols contain the prayers necessary to call forth the spirit why would Alex steal them Alex has to be confronted. There'll be time to confront Alex right now. You and I need to make a plan. Now, you spoke of this group of people who have an interest in the vote. Now, who's this group? Right now is not the time to get into it. What, are they some kind of corporation? We'll talk about it later. First thing I gotta do is make a phone call. Get down!
I don't think you're the only one who's seen that cover of Bounty Hunter Monthly, eh? He's about 5'10", light brown hair, maybe 40. Looks like a cop. There's not much to go on. I know, Eddie, I know. But he's hot on my heels. I'm gonna try and throw him off the trail. to see you here. You are a disgrace. Uh, let's talk in my office. Well, talk right here. Why'd you send that man to my house? What man? What are you talking about? Why'd you steal the scrolls? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You liar! You know, let's act like gentlemen, talk in private. Who have you sold us to, Alex? Calm down. Todd Kowalski was right. You are evil. Todd Kowalski, the reporter? His real name's Cade Foster. He killed his wife and a string of other people over the last year. He's a con man of the first order. You know what? I don't believe you. That's well, true. You've been duped by the white man. You want to see his wanted poster? I'll show you. Well, I have the scrolls, Alex. And when I show them to the council, your little proposition will be in the hopper. Bad news? Terrific. Cade Foster is known to the Acolyte Command. He's registered as a target for capture and dissection. Yeah, I don't have any time for this. That crazy bastard found the scrolls. How do you find them? I don't know. Keeping those scrolls hidden is vital to maintaining a gap between the community and its heritage. Yes, in Lone Tree's hands, there's a risk of re-establishing that connection. The scrolls have powers we don't yet understand. It's imperative we continue our research. We'll get them back, then we'll deal with Lone Tree and Foster. Lone Tree's absence will be noticed. I have no choice. I can't let him spot his accusations at the council. Don't worry. I'll find the scrolls and take care of those two. I need to speak to you. You're a murderer. No, I'm not. I've never killed another human being in my life. Come on, Lone Tree. Why would your spirit protect me? She didn't. You saw a mirage or you were on drugs. How the hell should I know? You know. Otherwise, you wouldn't have helped me. Our spirits don't help the white man. She warns me against evil, and that's you. I'm not your enemy. You will always be my enemy. You know, I never used to believe in spirits. Not the kind that can make wolves attack. But then again, I never used to believe in aliens either. Aliens. That's what Alex is. Part of an exploratory mission from another planet. You are on drugs. You're so blinded by your own hate, you can't see what's in front of your own face. That spirit is trying to warn your tribe again. If you won't do something about it, then I'll find somebody who will. You're crazy. Stay the hell away from me. You're making a mistake. 
They're laying the groundwork for an invasion. The aliens are your enemy. The Bois. I don't know if I'm getting through to this guy, Eddie. All right, relax. Take it easy. Okay, look, I gotta pull up a map to find an angle of escape. Where are you? I left Lone Tree's house in the bluff. Headed east through the woods. Maybe a mile. This guy seems to know what he's doing, Eddie. I don't know if I can lose him. I need to get out of this place. Hang in there, buddy. Head southwest till you reach a stream bed. Don't go east. They'll end up being dead-ended at Clearwater Pass. Okay. find out soon enough. Who are you working for? Someone who's willing to pay a lot of money for you. You working for the Gua? Who I work for isn't your concern. Whatever they're paying you, I can pay you more. You'd have to rob Fort Knox. You're worth more alive to me than you are dead. But either way, I'm going to deliver you. Walk. Get in. I'm not getting in until you tell me where we're going. One last time. Get in the truck. Give it up. Spread them. What do we got here? Hold this. I'll use the cuffs. Dan McGuire. I'm not in the mood to mess around, Dan McGuire, so who sent you? I don't review my clients. Well, maybe now might be a good time to start. Do what you have to do. The Gua. They're the evil your spirits warned you about. They're the race that want to take over. Not just natives, all of us. They know that the spiritual power you have, that we all have, is dangerous to them. They consider it a weapon and want to destroy it. That's why Alex started the casino here. They know that gambling and other vices take us away from that power. That intangible link between all the humans. So does hatred between the races. I'm absent from that council vote. Alex will convince them with that silver tongue of his. You can't go there alone. We don't need protection. Trust me, we both need protection. The Guar is strong. The high comes from the earth, and that spirit is within us. Without the spirit, we are nothing. Maybe she will help us. The high. We ask you for four things. Fear, so we don't underestimate our opponent. Knowledge, so we will fight successfully. Conviction, so we will fight with the certainty that our cause is correct. And compassion, so we see ourselves in our enemies. Water's the first medicine. must be clean in our bodies, minds, and souls. Many things attach themselves to us that interfere with our ability to connect with our ancestors. We have to wash that away. This is the fire that never ends. It's flames. It will be purified.
Great spirit, give me strength to be strong enough to be weak. Courage to stand tall and not be small. Clear vision to see where I have come from and the guidance to help me go to where I'm going. Good news, I think. In summation, let me emphasize that the profits, the jobs, the increased services that will greatly enhance the lives of the community. I urge you to vote yes on the proposition. And since Lone Tree isn't here for the rebuttal, perhaps one of you could take his place? then I think we should proceed to a vote immediately. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Wait. It must be heard. The vote's already begun. I'm a council elder. I have my right to speak. What has held our nation together for so long against the destroyers who stole our land has always been our legends, our traditions and their spirits. But you want to throw it all away in favor of money and the promise of forward movement. Gambling is an opiate, not just for us, but for all people. How can you say that? Gambling profits have funded schools, museums, and medical facilities. There was a time when the white man used whiskey to quell our angry spirits. Today, that tool of subjugation takes the form of a deck of cards. You talk of tribal heritage and the evils of the white man, and yet he stands at your side. What's your game, Lone Tree? Who you allied with? Someone who sees you for what you really are. These scrolls are a guide to our spiritual heritage. And when they were taken from us seven years ago, a void was created. We found these scrolls, Alex, in the base of that totem pole. I want to quote you a prayer from these scrolls that was handed down by Mahai, the spirit who saved our people so many years ago. I ask you, take pity on the white man. Give him wisdom and knowledge. You see, the white man tried for so many years to destroy my people, teaching humility, because they are our brothers. I know the truth about gambling, Alex. And that man has taught me the truth about you. I humbly urge you to vote no against this proposition. Who's against the gambling?
you say won't be building the casinos. You helped me, Foster. I won't forget that. You've shown me, well, you've shown us all the evil. We'll fight them together. I'm glad we're on the same side. I agree. That's why I'd like you to join me in the most sacred ritual of all. I'd be honored. Once again, I've come to see how the spiritual side of human existence can be our strongest weapon. I think the Guan know that too, and they're scared. Your turn. Our spirituality is something they can't hope to understand. But if we allow hatred to creep into our hearts, it lessens our connection with the spirit world. Lone Tree figured that out in the nick of time. I have shame for the barbarism of the past and the injustices that we have inflicted on one another in our quest for dominance. We all share responsibility for our painful past and our uncharted future. 